So you have decided to come to a speed dating event or you're thinking about coming to a speed dating event but you have no idea what to expect. Actually, you probably have no idea what a speed dating is or how it works. So let's talk about that today. Hi, my name is Geneva Dickey and I am a matchmaker dating coach and owner of Book of Love Canada and I have hosted so many speed dating events I don't even know how many. So here is what happens at a speed dating event. Let's talk about what to wear. Ladies, you are going to be seated the entire time. So if you have those heels that you want to wear, but you don't think you can stand in them all night long, wear them, baby, because you're going to be sitting the whole time. Also, feel free to get a little bit dressed up. You're not going to be moving around a lot. You get to just sit there and look lovely, have your hair down, put a little bit more makeup on than usual. Gentlemen, you're going to be doing all the rotating. And so I recommend uh, press your clothing, have them nice and clean, wear comfortable but stylish shoes, have your hair really nicely styled, and have a fresh shower. So dress how you would on a nice evening out date, okay? And there's going to be people that are very dressed up, and then there's going to be people that are underdressed, but it's always nice to be somewhere in the middle. Also, before we get going, I do want to tell you, just remove from your mind the thought that this is going to get canceled because of low attendance. If you're coming to a Book of Love Canada speed dating event, I can count on one hand how many events we have canceled, and only one of them was because of low attendance, and that was in the early days. This event will very likely sell out, and so let's remove that thought from our mind and let's prepare for the event instead. Now, the most nerve-wracking part, walking into an event and not knowing what to do. Here's what's gonna happen. Any speed dating event, which by the way, you may not even be going to one of my events, you may be going to another event, but they all kind of fall under the same umbrella and they all kind of have the same system. But any speed dating event that's worth its weight in gold will have a lovely, beautiful, smiling host waiting for you to reduce those nerves. So ladies, when you arrive, we are going to greet you at the door you are going to be shown to your table. There is going to be a sheet that is your welcome package. You're going to have a name tag. And if we're at a bar or a restaurant, you'll have a drink ticket to go grab your first drink on us. And if you're at a venue where we're serving you, there will be your first drink on your table waiting for you. You will not be moving. So put your purse down, put your jacket down. This is going to be home base for you. Gentlemen, unfortunately, you have no home base. So when you come, we're going to take your jacket. We're going to hang it up. We're going to give you your welcome package, your name tag, your drink ticket, or maybe even your drink if you're at a, a venue where we're going to be providing the beverages. So then we are going to be mixing and mingling a little bit. Ladies, I recommend chatting to the lady next to you. Gentlemen, chat to one another. They're not competition. They're other people that we want to be chatting with. And the people that are interacting with one another and not showing any nerves always does the best at speed dating events. So it's good to practice before we even start the event. Then the event starts. Now, how many people are there? This gets asked a lot. How many people go to these events? Now, it depends on the age range. It depends how far from a city you are, the location. But on average, a speed dating event will be between eight men and eight women or 16 men and 16 women. But the most common would be about 12 men and 12 women. And they are all going to buy their tickets prior, ahead of time. And you're going to have 12 or eight or 16 dates in one night. And how long is the date? So speed dating starts. We all go to our same table. You're going to hear a bell that the matchmaker or the host rings to announce that the speed dating has started. And you have anywhere between five and seven minutes per date, depending on how many people are there. Some dates, five minutes is gonna just fly by and you're like, wow, some dates, the five minutes is gonna crawl by. But regardless, five, six or seven minutes, it's the perfect amount of time just to see if there's connection, conversation, or even a little bit of attraction. After each date, Gentlemen, when you stand up, I recommend marking your scorecard before going to your next date. And your scorecard is going to have three columns, yes, no and notes. You want to say yes if you would like to see them again. You say no if you would not like to see them again and leave some notes. 
he works in HR and he likes baseball or she's blonde and owns a business. And then I recommend prior to ever handing in your sheet to the organizer, take a picture so that when you receive your matches the next day, you can refer back to that because I guarantee you may forget who's Katie, who's Sally, who's Mike, who's Jonathan. It all blends together the next day. So have a picture and have some nice notes done so that you can better remember the next day. Now, when your first date is finished, you will hear the bell ring, in which case the gentlemen stand up and move to the next table. This will continue until half the men have met half the women, and then we have about a 15 to 20 minute break where you get to check out your scorecard, make sure that you're on track, go to the washroom, take a break, take a breather, get your second drink, and just kind of shake it off. And then we come back after that break for the second half, and we do the same thing over and over again until all the men have met all the women in which case at the end of that the speed dating event is over you all hand in your sheets to one of the hosts or the organizer of the event and we will take that and do the matches now you're welcome to hang around after or you're welcome to leave right after it just completely depends on what you want to do and it was so lovely having you there now let's talk matches. Now, when you work with Book of Love Canada, regardless of if you have matches or don't, you will be receiving an email within 48 hours of the event. If you haven't received an email from the organizer within 48 hours, feel free to contact them and it may get lost in email land. So you should be receiving one regardless, unless you said no to everybody, in which case you don't get an email. Now, if you receive an email that says you have zero matches, please do not feel bad. On average, 25% of those coming to speed dating will get zero matches, and that's 100% completely normal. We have to remember connection compatibility is quite rare, and so never hesitate to come to another speed dating event because you'll never know who is there. Now, if you have one to two matches, that is about 50% of the people will have one to two matches in a speed dating event. Now, if you have two or more matches, good for you. That is 25% in the higher range and you're doing very well. Now, I always recommend we already have determined there's attraction, conversation and compatibility. And so I recommend reaching out and really putting the effort in to see each other again for a second date because it's not like online dating. We've already met. We know that there is something to talk about. We know that we're relatively attracted to one another. So really push yourself outside of your comfort zone to get out there and really get to know the people that you have met at speed dating.